Do you like to plan in detail before embarking on your next adventure? Then this video is for you. I'll take you on a journey of discovery through Komoot's diverse map worlds, specifically for planning your tours. Whether you're a hiker, cyclist, or mountain biker, I'll show you how to choose the right map for your needs. Learn to understand the differences between free and premium maps and how to best use them for route planning on your computer and smartphone. Please note that the map options presented here are primarily intended for planning. In the app, the available map options are condensed to a few key maps, which I will explain in detail. Let me plan your next tour perfectly together. Welcome to the Komoot Expert Outdoor Tech Instructor. This voiceover is made by lovevoice.com. Let's start in the route planner on the desktop to take a closer look at all the maps there. You already know the way to the route planner? I show it in the video at the top right. For the link, please check the video description. You can find the map selection here at the bottom left in the map corner. To make it easier for you to see, I'll enlarge the browser display. When you click, the selection opens. Then click again on Other Maps to see the entire selection. Are you wondering why the list consists of two parts? The upper part of the maps is available to all users. The premium subscription is activated here, so you can see the maps in the lower part that can additionally be selected with Komoot Premium. The selection is very easy to control. Click on a map, the view is loaded, and the selection closes automatically. This is different with the premium maps. More on that in a moment. You can see which map is currently active in the button of the map selection at the bottom left. You can manually close the selection menu via the X at the top right or by clicking on the map menu icon again. Let's start with the Komoot map at the top. It's always pre-selected and available to all users. It's Komoot standard map in the browser and in the app. I'll explain the structure of the map, i.e., what is displayed how, in another video later. As a distinguishing feature, I'll only briefly go into the details. The source for the data of the Komoot map is OpenStreetMap. At OpenStreetMap, users maintain the map content. Therefore, these maps are always very close to reality and up to date. The Komoot map shows contour lines that are labeled in 100 meter increments. Here you can already assess the landscape profile very well because the map is also displayed in relief. Narrow distances between the lines automatically mean steep slopes, and conversely, flatland. Highways are labeled and displayed in orange. Federal roads and comparable higher-level roads are shown in light orange. Minor roads, for example, country roads in Germany, are marked in yellow and also labeled. Small roads are classified in white, the thinner on the map, the narrower you will find them on site. But field paths can also be shown in white. Finally, there are paths that can be recognized by a black line. You can recognize bike paths in the Komoot map by the green line. You can change the size of the place names in the three-point menu at the top, settings, and accessibility. This change is only possible in the browser. You activate the display of poise, such as restaurants, parking lots, and many more, differently. I'll show you that in another video. At very low zoom levels, however, they become visible. You probably still see many red dots with a sports symbol. I have turned these off for better orientation. In summary, the Komoot map shows you all the important information for orientation, and it is the map you will probably use most often for planning and navigating. Take a look at the map now. Drag the section of the map to an area you know well and try to compare the map with your knowledge. It's not that difficult. The satellite map shows the landscape in photo mode from above. Paths and places are displayed as on the Komoot map, but it lacks the contour lines and the relief. Use the map if you are familiar with the area to be planned and can orient yourself well with this view. Personally, I find the map too confusing due to the many different colors of the landscape and objects. However, it offers clear advantages over the Komoot map for detailed searching because the Komoot map only symbolically represents objects such as houses. You can find many more tips and instructions for Komoot on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Stay informed and learn continuously. The OpenStreetMap map offers a little more contrast compared to the Komoot map. Here, too, the order of the streets can be easily understood by color. However, it lacks the contour lines and the relief, which makes it impossible to assess the profile of the landscape. But it has the advantage that the details at low zoom levels are much more detailed. Here you can find house numbers and much more information. Do you have questions and suggestions? Use the comments under the video.
The Open Cycle Map is the last freely selectable map in the browser for all users. It is based on the OpenStreetMap map, but is specially designed for cyclists and, like OpenStreetMap, is maintained by users. Here, too, the streets can be distinguished in their rank by color, but it does not show house numbers. It shows contour lines and the relief of the landscape. The contour lines are labeled in 50-meter increments. Its great advantage is the official bike paths, which are visible here. These can be distinguished by color and in the abbreviations of the designation. Here, the bike path junctions are also shown and labeled, which are often used by cyclists for planning and orientation. As you can see, you already have a large selection of maps for planning even without premium. Three more sport-specific maps are available for premium subscribers. They are less to be seen as maps. They are displayed as layers over the selected map. The selection can only be made with the Komoot map and the satellite map. Here, the selection does not close automatically. Click on the X next to customize map or click on the map menu at the bottom left. The hiking map shows officially signposted paths. These differ in rank by color. In addition, the name of the path is given and the official path symbol is displayed. Since hiking trails are not explicitly highlighted in the other maps, this can be an advantage of Komoot Premium for hikers. The bicycle map is interesting for cycling tourists and for day trips by bike. Official cycling routes are highlighted in color according to their rank. In addition, the complete name of the route is lab-led at low zoom levels. Bike path junctions are also highlighted. MTB trails are not highlighted. If you have little experience with the abbreviations of the cycling routes in Open Cycle Map, using Komoot Premium may be an option for you. The mountain bike map is the perfect complement to the bicycle map. Here, trails are highlighted in color. The trails are marked in color from blue to black according to the single trail scale. This makes it much easier to assess the difficulty of the trails than on the open cycle map. Official mountain bike routes are displayed in violet. If you are looking for details about symbols and markings on the maps, click on the question mark at the bottom right. Here you will find all the important information under legend. You can find the map selection in the app on the right side of the screen. Tap the map symbol. Here, the menu does not close automatically after selecting a map. Tap the X in the box at the top right to close. Which maps can you use in the app? Here, the selection is limited to the Komoot map and the satellite map. For premium, the layers that we just looked at can optionally be activated. The selectable maps do not differ from those in the browser. They can be used for planning and navigation. If you set the map offline and navigate without an active internet connection, you can still activate all layers and maps as needed. Did this excursion into the world of Komoot Maps help you? Recommend it to friends by sharing the video. Show it with a thumbs up. You have further wishes and questions, comment under the video. Help me to be found better to create more such videos. Subscribe to my channel and activate the bell, then you will always stay up to date. You can find even more videos about Komoot and others at your Outdoor Tech Instructor channel. I look forward to the next time. My name is Ryan from lovevoice.com. I am an AI voice. The tutorial is written by Thomas, your outdoor tech instructor.